Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this green circle as you can see in this figure with this code BD is 18 units and AC is our radius and moreover this line segment AE is 7 units and furthermore the angle between this radius and this chord is 90 degrees and now we are going to find the area of this green circle. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and in this video tutorial I will share with you two different methods to calculate the area of this green circle. And here is our very first method and we will be using the chord theorem method. And here's our very first step. Let's recall this chord of a circle theorem. A radius perpendicular to a chord divides the chord into two equal parts. That means since this radius is perpendicular to this chord, so that means this line segment BE is equal to this line segment ED since this total length is 18 so the half of this one is going to be a 9 and this side is going to be a 9 as well so therefore this BE equals to ED equals to 9 units and in this next step let's go ahead and extend this radius AC to another point uh, F on this circle such that this AF is the diameter of this green circle. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And now let me go ahead and call this radius CF as R and this uh, AC R as well. They are our radii and we know that this whole thing, this whole diameter is going to be simply 2R. So therefore, this length EF is going to be 2R minus 7. And here's our next step. Let's recall the intersecting chords theorem. As you can see in this figure we have a two chords. They are intersecting each other. Then the chords theorem states that AB equals to CD where AB are the parts of the first chord and C and D are the, the parts of the other chord. Let's go ahead and apply this uh, theorem to our this given problem. So let me go ahead and call this part of this chord as an A this part I'm going to call B, this part as C, and this part as D. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this intersecting chords theorem. So that could be written as our A times B is going to become simply 7 times 2R minus 7 equal to C in our case is 9 and D is 9 as well and now let's go ahead and distribute and then we are going to solve for r so that's going to give us 14 r minus 49 equals to 81 let's move this 49 on the right hand side so 14 r equal to 81 plus 49 so 14 r equal to 100 and 30. Let's divide both sides by 14 to isolate R. So R turns out to be, if we reduce this thing, that is going to give us 65 over 7 and that is our radius. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green circle since we figured out our radius as 65 divided by 7. And here's the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square. Let's go ahead and start filling in. So a equals to pi and in our case radius r is 65 divided by 7 square. So therefore area could be written as 
that is going to be if we take care of these squares so that's going to give us 42 25 pi divided by 49 square units and we know our pi value is approximately equal to 3.14 so area is approximately equal to 270.75 square units and here's the area of a green circle in terms of fractions and in terms of decimals now let me share with you the second method and this method is called the Pythagorean theorem method and here's our very first step let's recall our previous method since this radius and this chord they are perpendicular to each other so therefore it is going to divide this chord into two equal parts so that means this BE is 9 units and this ED is 9 units as well and now in this next step let's go ahead and connect these points B and C so we can make a triangle and here's our much nicer looking diagram and let me go ahead and call this radius BC I am going to call lowercase r and we know that this is our radius r as well so this part EC is going to be simply r minus 7 and now we can see that we got this triangle BEC as you can see over here and since this is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this horizontal side of this right triangle as an a this vertical side i'm going to call b and this longest leg bc i'm going to call c and our here's our pythagorean formula let's go ahead and fill in the blanks a in our case is r minus 7 so this is going to become r minus 7 square plus b in our case is 9 so 9 square equal to c in our case is r square and now let's go ahead and expand this binomial by using this a minus b square formula so this could be written as r square minus 14 r plus 49 and this 9 square is simply 81 equal to r square and here we can see this r square and r square they are gone so we ended up with the negative 14 r plus 130 equal to 0 so 14 are equal to 130 let's divide both sides by 14 to isolate r so this 14 and 14 is gone and here r radius turns out to be if we reduce this thing that's going to give us a 65 over 7 so this is our radius r and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green circle and we know the radius is 65 divided by 7 and here's the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so area equal to pi and in our case r is 65 divided by 7 square and here's our area equals to 42 25 pi over 49 square units and if we replace this pi by 3.14 our area is approximately equal to 270.75 square units so thus the area of this green circle turns out to be 4225 pi over 49 square units or in terms of decimals it is approximately equal to 270.75 square units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.